folks in the world today have a laptop here that does not display anything in the screen whether I put an external monitor from here and all I can do is set uh, the output from here I can see a kinda blink there that seems to uh, well, uh, there so the laptop is trying to um, transfer the display to the monitor but doesn't display anything else there therefore I conclude that this is not a RAM um, this is not a RAM problem but this is something like inside I'm gonna open this folks I'm gonna show you later what I found <laughs> I'll be back guys hey no this Hold on. I will check the board. I already, already tried to uh, already tried to use external monitor, guys. The same problems. No problems. No pro, I mean the same problem is no display. I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna reinsert here. Remember to uh, take uh, note that we have a uh, 19 volts over here. So you must be careful. I don't advise resetting this while power on the device and because of that there is still no display shut down power on and still there is no display we will try to just in case reset the RAM which I already did I already did the RAM reset guys so I don't think this is the problem and I know that this is not the problem for that let's start the device that is some kind of weird thing all lights is a uh, it's lighting I'm gonna try to connect the external external a uh, motor which also does not display anything there So for that situation, I will try to insert the uh, insert the cable and take a shortcut for that display if it is working or not. The shortcut is FN and F8. As you can see there, there is no reaction. No reaction whatsoever, guys. We have no signal. Back to the topic from here. What we need to do is I will try to clean this one with my super powerful. 
entire fluid, guys. And with that said, just brush, brush, brush two times a day. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna just clean the bowl. Don't shower with this liquid, it will not harm your motherboard. Okay. Because this is a non electromagnetic liquid. I mean, does not conduct electricity. Therefore, I'm gonna try to turn it. It automatically turns in without my consent. Therefore, I advise to change RAM, to reset RAM. Let's resume. The first time I bought this laptop, there is a sound that the machine is booted already in the desktop menu. Therefore, power on. And we have uh, AOC there. But still, there is no display. We don't input not support, so that means um, the side here is displaying but it's not supporting. The monitor resolution not support. Hmm. So the machine is now booting. But the screen is not supporting that. I'm gonna try to reinsert again. With my silver clicking sound. And voila, it, it's not working. I'm gonna do it again. Let's have some kind of a shortcut there. I don't want to see my face, so I'm going to roll that down. And voila, we get a boot here. So how, how do you explain that, guys? We get a transfer over there, but it's not supported. We're going to go back here. How do you explain that? The first time I did a power on the device was... I hear the sound, but nothing on the screen. So I inserted the external monitor, guys. Same problemo. So, with no time to waste, I'm gonna insert the hard drive. So where's the hard drive? Voila! <clears throat> okay, we're gonna test the hard drive, folks. And now, the moment of truth. Let's power on the device. But look at that. There is no display. What happened? Do I need to, to go to the keyboard again and do my thing? Let's do it again. Voila, we got display. 
so from there guys we can barely we can barely identify them the problem could be the loss of contact there or could be a keyboard itself maybe he's pressing automatically but I don't think so well the fact that it shows a sign a sign of a life I mean I'm, I don't like that I want the full view so let's wait let's try to put the external key monitor voila it does not display again I'm gonna try to press here you hear that? You can hear the sound, but there is no display. Okay, that's weird. Could be a cable problem. I don't think so, but it could be. Maybe there's a grounded... Maybe grounded a cable. Mm-hmm, it shows now. But why is it full screen? We're gonna try to control P. Is that control P or Windows P? Yeah. That's Windows P. We're gonna go disconnect projector. Voila! That's gonna fix it. Well and I don't really get the problem folks but it seems like it seems like uh, maybe the keyboard is grounded like that it will press automatically or we just clean the dirt could be but whatever is it folks Let's try to restart because I don't care. After restarting, guys, let's uh, finalize the situation. By the way, the shortcut for uh, display on and off is function. We got HIF, FN, that's function, and F8. You can see the sign folks that means um, here this is a turn off monitor this is for external monitor this is the turn off so as you can see I restarted a device but there is no display I'm gonna press F and F7 and voila black screen This is embarrassing. What could be the problem, guys? Could be the monitor, LED, LCD, or somebody is almost dying here. Nope, it displayed because it was just loading. <laughs> So I think problem is fixed. Could be a dirty. Uh, I didn't did I did not even uh, trying repairing some hardware there. I just uh, cleaning there. So I'm gonna clean the board and maybe just press like this, and then you just press again. But actually guys, I did it before.
So I think the cleaning thing there works because I already did that. I already did a shortcut there before I opened this. I already did a external monitor for setting the RAM. So maybe that's a dirt problem. Grounded maybe. So that's all folks. I'm gonna end this video because this is very, very long. Thank you for watching and have a nice day, fellas. Hmm, <laughs>